What's going on guys? I'm Corey English and today I am out at McKinley Skate Park here in Pittsburgh and uh, here to skate a little bit of mini ramp. There is the uh, rest of the skate park behind me but unfortunately the ground at this park is terrible. The foundation has settled down and there's a bunch of waves in the asphalt and the transitions to the ramps are pretty terrible. So it's basically unskatable. I mean you could do stuff on it but it's just not even fun to skate. Uh, Chris Edwards did put out an edit skating this a few years back. I'll put a link to that below if you want to see somebody absolutely kill this park. But for me today, the focus is going to be skating this mini ramp. Now, today is also going to be what I hope is my last session on Aeons for a little while. Hopefully my new skates get in here soon. But what I wanted to do was take this opportunity to compare a few different liners. Specifically, I wanted to talk about these three liners. The USD stock liner that comes in the Aeon Basic model, the MyFit second skin liner that comes in the Pro model Aeons, and the Rain V3 liner. Um, now I normally skate the Intuition V2 in my Aeons, but I feel like this isn't a budget friendly option for most people. So these three are the most common liners that most people will be exploring when they're looking into Aeons, and I wanted to find out do you even need to upgrade from the basic liner? And if you do, where is it better to spend your money? Is, do you just go for the pro model with the second skin liner or does the rain liner work better? And what are their differences? So I'm gonna start today with the stock USD liner that comes in the basic model Aeon and uh, try this out. I've never skated this one. Off the bat, it feels like really good padding. It's uh, like a medium firmness should provide plenty of support and uh, feels like relatively good materials. The lower ankle isn't quite as nice as this, uh, this upper part. I could see this uh, packing down and possibly ripping within a few months, but still should be a, uh, a solid stock liner. One thing that USD does with the MyFit liners, they call it a feature. I personally think it's a fault, but when they do this neoprene toe box, they put the neoprene on the bottom as well, and there's just no traction at all inside of the boot. So if you're using your toes or the ball of your foot to control your skate, which I do constantly, there's really no traction with this. And unless your foot completely fills out the shell, it's going to slide around down there. I don't know why they don't extend this material all the way forward but this is the way they do things. So uh, we'll throw these in and uh, get warmed up with these and uh, see how it goes. All right, first impressions putting the skates on with the basic liners. Uh, not a great liner for downsizing. Uh, I'm like a 267, 268 on my right foot and all the extra padding in the uh, upper ankle area is pushing my foot forward and I can feel my Longest toe on my right foot, smack in the front of the uh, shell here. Should work fine, but definitely not a good option for downsizing. So first impressions on the basic liners, actually a super comfortable liner, way better than I expected. Uh, 
not the type of liner I typically like to ride, but if you're someone who skates your skates a little looser and really wants a puffy, comfortable liner, it's actually a really good option. Um, as far as the neoprene toe box sliding around, with the extra padding in this skate, it fills out the whole entire shell for me. And it's actually not an issue with this liner. It's a problem I know I had with the second skin liner. I'm sure it'll come back up when I go to those next. But honestly, the basic liner feels really good uh, with the exception of me not being able to tighten my buckles as much as I would normally like. But again, if you skate your skates relatively loose to begin with, this is a really decent option. Uh, yeah, I'd recommend it. All right, next up, swapping to the MyFit second skin liner. Uh, it's a great liner super thin profile uh, honestly it's thinner than the intuition so if you're downsizing definitely consider this liner uh, it's about the same in the upper as intuitions but once you get down to the midfoot it's actually thinner down here than intuition liners are so a really good option for downsizing again though my fit does this dual fit thing and they put the neoprene down on the bottom of the toes and it drives me absolutely crazy I remember having a problem with these the last time I skated them with that, so we'll see if it's a problem today. But one great thing they do is it has this super stiff tongue, which isn't gonna slide down and like bubble underneath your laces. So we'll throw these in and uh, see how these go. All right, so just popped my skates on with the second skin, and uh, for a liner that doesn't have a lot of padding, surprisingly comfortable. settings on the camera so my apologies if those clips come out crappy but did a few tricks on the second skins they do feel good especially for a downsized liner I've got more room in this shell than I have with any other other liner I've ever tried in here but that neoprene toe box is an issue for me um, it just the front of my foot just slides around the shell the whole time and it's really hard to like get all of the power down into the boot. Um, I don't know. Maybe for some people it's not a problem, but for me it really is. Uh, but comfortable liner and uh, tons of support. So good liner. Uh, definitely a step up from the basic liner for me because I don't like to skate my skates loose. So I can buckle them down a little more. It's got a little more support in it. But it's not without its flaws. So gonna move on to the uh, rain v3s here and uh, we'll see how those go all right so the rain v3 liner uh the upper ankle support the thickness is probably right in between the second skin and the aeon basic uh and also the stiffness of the liner it's pretty much exactly between those two uh a little bit stiffer than the basic liner but just uh not quite as stiff as the second skin it is made out of really nice material on the upper here. Uh, should last a while. And finally, somebody got the toe box right. This bottom part comes all the way up to the top of the toe, and then there's just enough neoprene so that if your foot is pushing through, it can stretch and uh, give you just enough room for your toes. So I absolutely love that about this liner. And it's a nice firm base that uh, should grip the bottom of your boot. Uh, the one thing that Rain does and all of the Razor's liners do is they have a really weak lower tongue that likes to fold underneath the laces. Uh, we'll see, I'll try to tie my laces up tight and make it so it's not a problem, but when I skate these in my free skates, 
it's always a problem. Uh, it's not even that it's uncomfortable. I hardly even notice it, but when I look down and just see my liner like folded on itself underneath, it just drives me crazy. I don't know why they can't fix that and make a little bit, just make the this firm part of the tongue go down a little bit further. And uh, it seems like it would eliminate the whole problem, but throw these in, do a few tricks, and then uh, give a rundown on all three and what I like best. So that was me skating in the Rain V3 liner. Uh, similar to the basic liner, when I first put them on, the extra padding in the upper ankle and heel area pushed my foot forward a little bit more uh, and caused my toes to be right at the front of the shell. But within just a couple of minutes, they molded to my foot a little bit and I really didn't even notice the issue anymore after just a couple of minutes of skating. Um, it was a great experience. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned, I'm in the, what is formerly the seven and a half eight shell Aeon. I think they just changed the sizing chart to reflect it as a eight, nine US shell size. And this is the size nine uh, rain V3. And the other two USD liners are the one that would come in that shell size. They're marked as a seven and a half eight. I'm a nine and a half sneaker and have no trouble fitting into that shell. So, if you're a nine and a half, you could go down to that shell size, but anything over a nine and a half, you're gonna to wanna to bump up to the next shell size. Um, I do feel like I could ride the size eight rain. Uh, the nine's not a problem and it does fit in that shell, but I think the size eight would fit a little bit better. And even at a nine and a half shoe, I think I could fit the uh, V3 reins in a size eight with this neoprene toe box the way they have it. And uh, they do run just a little bit big so the question is do you even need to upgrade from the basic liner or is this enough and uh, if you do what's the better option should you go with the reins or just go with the uh, my fit second skins now of course this is going to be riddled with my own bias and it's based on how these liners fit my foot inside of this shell so your experience might be different than mine but uh, for me, I definitely would change from the basic liner, not because it's a bad liner, but just for the way I like to ride my skates. Um, if you're someone who rides your skates a little bit looser, this is going to be a perfectly great liner for you. Um, it's really comfortable. So if you're more focused on comfort, then honestly the basic liner is probably going to be enough for you. Um, yeah, really soft padding. Uh, plenty of support and it's just like kind of a cloudy pillowy feeling liner uh, not gonna get any you know it's not gonna provide any sort of great response uh, it's just gonna be a stock liner which for a lot of people is enough for a long time for me that was enough I've skated plenty of skates with whatever they came with and I wore them out wore the shells out and moved on um, I only really started getting into aftermarket liners here in the last couple of years. Uh, and since then I can't go back, but uh, honestly, it's a solid stock liner. Um, yeah, if you like a soft, comfortable liner and you don't want your skates buckled down as tight as you can get them and you like a little bit of flex in your skate, it's a perfectly good liner. Uh, save your money, go with the $240 Aon Basic and this liner should last you the life of that shell.
However, if you're like me and you like to ride your skates a little tighter, uh, if you get your flex from your knees, not from the cuffs of the skates, uh, you're probably gonna wanna spend a little bit of money to upgrade out of these liners and into either the V3 reins or the second skins. And honestly, my opinion, I think I would go for the Rain V3 over the second skin, knowing what I know now and how my foot fits in the shell that I ride in Aeons. But that's not to say this is not a great liner. Um, it's a super comfortable liner, which it's way more comfortable than you would think when you feel this thing. It is, I mean, it's basically a neoprene sock. There's really not a lot to this liner. So if you need every single millimeter of space inside of your shell, this is definitely going to be the liner for you. Um, tons of support. This upper part is really stiff. Um, I actually love it. It's not uncomfortable. The inner part of it is soft enough. Um, I've never had an issue with comfort with these liners, especially in the ankle and upper area. It's just really thin and really stiff, so it's going to provide a ton of support. So, you know, if getting flex out of the skate's not an issue for you, you're bending your knees and skating that way, uh, it's a great liner. Also, as I mentioned earlier, it's got a great stiff tongue that's not going to fold up underneath your laces or anything like that. It's not going to slide down into your uh, into your shell like that and be riding around like this. Um, yeah, great liner. Again, though, I don't know why MyFit does this, but this neoprene toe underneath, I have a little bit of room side to side in the shell when I ride these liners, and every time I go to push, it just shifts left and right on me, and it drives me absolutely crazy. Um, other than that, this is an excellent liner, but if they would just extend this material to the front of the toe, it would be perfect. I, I don't know why anyone needs this part to stretch as well. You really just need this little toe wrap part to stretch. So, power slide, if you see this, my fit, if you see this, this is like the only thing that is wrong with these liners. Other than that, they're excellent. So, if you do completely fill out your shell and you need every single millimeter of space, I definitely recommend these. But if you have any extra space in them at all, this is going to cause your foot to slide around. And, you know, maybe it won't bother you. Um, maybe you can come up with a fix for it. But for me, it absolutely drives me crazy having that issue inside of my skate. And finally, the Rain V3 liner, which if you are going to upgrade your liners, especially in the Aeon, I think I would recommend doing this over the second skin, especially if you're not downsizing too far in the uh, shell. This one just, it fits the shell perfectly. There's enough padding, soft padding in the uh, lower part of the liner that you can downsize in it, but there's enough soft padding there to grip your foot and your foot's not gonna be swimming around in the bottom of it. There's this material, this heel lock material on the back that the liner goes in and it locks in. It's not shifting around. This bottom is grippy. It's not moving around on the bottom of the liner. The whole thing is just excellent. There's, uh, you can feel there's built-in J bars to lock your ankles into this liner, uh, which honestly, it's a little uncomfortable at first. When you throw these in and stick your foot in, it can be uncomfortable for a few minutes, but whatever material it's made out of, it's soft enough that within like 10 minutes of skating them, they'll break into your foot and adjust and you really don't even notice it after that. Uh, so for me, I think if I wasn't riding intuitions, if I didn't have the money to spend on them, this would be the liner that I recommend most highly for uh, upgrading the liners in your Aeons. If you like a little bit of extra support with all of the comfort, and if you need something to downsize into, this is a great liner for any of those things. Uh, yeah, Rain really hit it out of the park on this one. Uh, it's really, only bad thing I can say about this liner is the lower part of the tongue is just so soft and it doesn't have enough material on it and it just folds. It does, does that under your laces and it, it's just, I don't know why they can't seem to fix it. 
I think every single Razors or Sunshine liner out there does that. Uh, I don't know why they can't seem to fix it, but if they could fix that, this is definitely, I mean, even with that problem, this is definitely the best bang for your buck liner on the market right now. I, that's seriously the only fault with this liner. Uh, not as good as an Intuition liner, but if you're not willing to spend the money on an Intuition liner or Intuitions are not the type of liner you're looking for, if you would, if you want something with a little bit more of the classic comfortable feel with some added response and support, definitely look into the Rain V3 liners. Anyway, that's going to do it for me today. I uh, hope this helps you guys out. If you're in the market for uh, skates, specifically Aeons, or if you're looking to upgrade the liners in your Aeons. Uh, if you are in the market for Aeons, be sure to measure your foot and reference the sizing charts uh, in centimeters and millimeters. The USD US sizing is all over the place. And like I said, I'm in a nine and a half shoe riding what has previously been previously been marked the seven and a half eight shell so measure your foot before you buy your skates um, that's the biggest piece of advice i can give you but again hope this helps you guys out uh, should be testing out a new pair of skates in the next video so be sure to come back and check that out but until then thanks for watching thanks for subscribing bye